Hello everyone and 4Runner fans, this is the 2023 4Runner Limited. I'm Jeff Teague, this is Toyota Jeff Reviews. Thanks for hitting subscribe to my channel. The 4Runner Limited, this is the one that's top of the food chain, top of the totem pole as far as what somebody would want if they want a smooth riding experience and also 4Runner toughness and also a little bit of luxury. And as I walk around the 4Runner Limited, we're gonna get a better feel for it. I'm gonna go section by section so you can learn if 4Runner Limited is for you. Maybe you'll learn some buttons and controls that you didn't know you had. And also, we'll see the window sticker at the very end. Let's go inside 4Runner, get a first look. We're also gonna go section by section. We'll just do it in a little bit more detail. Do you see some things you like? Whistle if you see something you like. And then here we go. That's our interior first look. So what makes this thing tick, this beautiful Toyota 4Runner? Well, it's a 4.0 liter V6 engine. We've had that for a while now. Five speed automatic transmission, 270 horsepower, 278 pound feet of torque. What about MPG? Yeah, you know me. 17 combined, 16 in the city, 19 on the highway. What about this ride comfort here, this X-REAS, x Reyes Sport Enhancement Suspension. It's designed to give 4Runner Limited an experience for driver and passenger that's smooth and comfortable on the road. Now, yeah, you can take it off the road if you wanted to, but I don't know if this is the one I would choose for that. This x Reyes suspension is quite popular with people who want a better experience, smooth than say like an off-road, something like that, or a TRD Pro, and they put it Toyota did on TRD Sport. You'll probably recognize 4Runner Limited not a mile away, but pretty far distance away because it's got chrome slats right here, a little bit more upscale. Then we've got LED fog light housing here in chrome. Very nice here. We've got a 9.6 inch ground clearance. No, wait, actually that's not true. This is a two wheel drive, so this is nine inches. 9.6 inches is on all of the four-wheel drive vehicles. So remember that one there. We've got LED headlights, high beam, low beam. Whoosh, that deserves a kick. Get a little peek of those 20-inch wheels here. Also notice, oh, look at this. Panoramic view monitor. You can also see me right there, holla. Panoramic view monitor so you can see around the vehicle. So, joke. Your mom's so big, when she sits around the house, she sits around the house. Well, you can see around this house right here, we've got cameras underneath the mirrors, whoop, whoop, turn signal indicator, blind spot, blind spot standard on all forerunners, LED headlights, fog lights standard on all forerunners. And then look at this here, 20 inch chrome wheels. They'll be darker on the TRD Sport, like a dark grayish type color. We've got more chrome here, chrome handles. It's like Google Chrome, but with 4Runner. Little spoiler that comes off there. Whoop, whoop. So, how do you like it so far? I'm gonna come to the back in just a minute, but I do wanna show you the feature that everybody wants in their 4Runner here. The power window. Dogs are saying, thank you so much. Actually, they're saying, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it. We can stick our heads out here. People in the back can get air. I like that if you get the third row. All right, so we got right here, we've got 4Runner, big chunky letters here. Got this, lock, unlock, holla. Then we've got the backup camera towing, woo, 5,000 pound tow capacity, and it's attached, and rear parking sonar. Do the crane for that one. On a limited, you've got three different choices. You can have a sliding rear cargo deck that this one has, you can have it empty, or you can have third row seats. This one pulls out, it holds 440 pounds. I always get confused if it says 400 or 440, so I had to look down. But I like it because you can just sit here and enjoy the beauty that I see of this pond here with all the pollen in it. Or I could watch my kids game, or I could see the fireworks, and I'm protected from the rain. Holla! Some things I see in this one. We've got JBL sound system. I like that. We've got the 12 volt circular, also 400 watt plug-in. We've got tie downs. It's really designed so that people could do things back here. They can store things. They can transport things without them rolling around, etc. How do those seats come down? People and animals are gonna like that they fold completely flat here. What I do is I pull this little boop, and then I pop this sucker down. Now I've got it completely flat. Boom. To me, one of the best things about 4Runner is the back seat space. 
so much legroom here. And these seats with the leather seats, very comfortable. Yeah, this middle seat is nice too, and it's wide. Wide vehicle, right? All three passengers in the middle row can be pretty comfy. Now my headroom space, go back here so you can see it. It's not bad, not bad at all. And let's look inside Forerunner so we can see just what there is to see. You can put things in your activity pockets here. Whoop, whoop. We've also got air vents and USBs. That was added in the past couple years, I think with 2020 model year, so that people could be connected all throughout the vehicle. Look at the light colored stitching here. That's a soft touch armrest there. I like that. We're breaking up the dark interior with accent pieces and stitching. All right, we've got child safety latches that can come here. And I do like to show people how the armrest can be. This one is one of the most comfortable armrests. I just keep squeezing it. I cannot stop squeezing. And so you can have small cups, bigger cups. All right, let's look this way here so we can get a view. Look at that wood grain. Here we go. Let's look on in here from the passenger side. We do have a power passenger seat, just like anything at the highest level. I'd like to see it be able to go up and down, but it does go sideways, just like that. And then this one goes back. The seats are really comfortable, and I think a lot of people who own one probably know what I'm talking about. It just seems very squishy, very supportive, good bolstering on the sides. Got that nice glossy grain, we'll call it and then heated and cooled seats. All right, so let's look on in here. We've got two position memory seats, all one touch windows, just hit it once, it'll go down. All right, so this one here, it does twist up and down. It goes forward and backward and it goes straight up. Now tell me, do you really wanna love me forever? Oh, 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 we see the lumbar support there. This is a nice looking interior. We have the panoramic view monitor right here that allows you to see around the vehicle, along the sides of the vehicle, front, back. Remember those cameras? All right. Wiper de-icer we've got, automatic windows. Here's our information display. And then we've got an eight inch touch screen here. This is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It's not wireless. The new model will be wireless, I'm sure, when that comes out. All right, so we've got the dynamic navigation built in, Sirius XM, auto dimming rear view mirror. We do have a sunglass holder here. Let's go on up, boom, there we go. Just like that, just like that. All right, nice, very cool stuff. Safety connect, and then we've got a little slider here to go with our lighted Advisor. All right, so take a look here. We've got Forerunner Limited Magnetic Gray made in Japan. Here's the safety ratings. Here's the fuel mileage. I believe it's a 23 gallon fuel tank. I'm almost positive I'm right about that. But if I'm wrong, let me know. All right, Toyota Safety Sense on this one. Take a look at these features. You can stop the video to look on your own, see what you like. Like I said, whistle if you see something you like. Here we go, the cargo deck is 350. This is right from the factory that Keep It Wild Savings. Maybe that'll help a little bit with the price. All right, the delivery and processing will be at the bottom of this next column here. These are options that were added at the regional assembly port. Here we go. This one's at Fred Anderson Toyota and available if anybody wants it, 51684. Thanks for watching everybody. What do you think of Forerunner? Do you have experience driving one, owning one? Does a friend or family member own one? What do they think? All right, how about the Limited? Would this be one you'd choose? Please follow me at Toyota Jeff Reviews, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, all three of those platforms, trying to help everybody out. And then my second channel looks at the whole automotive industry. In other words, I review other brands and everything just to see what's out there. It's kind of fun, new technology. I'm really seeing some interesting, fun gadgets, gizmos, trinkets, features and quirks. Quirks and features, as Doug DeMuro would say. Anyway, that's Auto Jeff Reviews, A-U-T-O-J-E-F-F. -F. We have fun over there too, and we're thorough just like we are here. All right, everybody, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube for both channels. See you next time.